All right, guys, having a little trouble getting the lighting good here, but uh, this is the uh, the pin that sits on the end of the wheel cylinder and pushes on the brake shoes, you know? And it fits right into this little little notch right here on the shoe. Let's see if I can show you. You know, you can see where it goes, right? And uh, it's got a little bit of movement here, but also they've added another piece of metal right here at the top end of the shoe that I'm pretty sure it's just there to reinforce it, make it stiffer, you know? And uh, my problem is, this this is the replacement shoe. And pra practical purposes and everything, it, it, I mean, it looks like an exact reproduction. But if you look on the, this is the original one, pardon all the grime on it. But uh, can you see how far down that will tip? We've got a lot of movement here, right? That moves pretty good there. You put it on this one though, it's uh, it like locks into position here almost. It won't move at all. It can't swing down. It should be able to swing down sort of something like this. But when I slide it all the way in, it, it catches. So what's going on, this little piece of cladding right here, it sits too low. So I'm gonna have to grind a little bit of that out of there to make some relief. How do you like that, huh? Brand new set of shoes and they're not even made right. So anyway, let me get some safety glasses on, ear protection, and we're gonna we're gonna start whittling away on this here. slipping all right well that chuck was a little bit loose but well it was awfully hard to tighten so anyway hopefully it's uh, hopefully it stays put now Well, I tell you, this thing just keeps working loose. I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers or something to tighten that up good. All right. Let's try that again. All right. Let's see how this here works now. It's a lot better. I think I better grind a little bit more though. I think that side's good. This side we just need just a little bit more right in that corner. Yep. Take some more yet. That uh, looks like now I'm held up a little on that side. That side looks pretty good. Let me, let me clean it up a little bit more over here. It's got a lot more motion in it than it did before, though. Yeah, you know what? That's probably good, actually. All right. Okay, I'm going to cut away right now. We'll, i got to do three more shoes. And then uh, I'll come back and I'll show you assembling one of the sides of the, the brake system. Uh, I haven't seen anybody on uh, YouTube putting it together a set of these brakes yet, so this will probably help somebody else. All right, guys. Okay, this is the, uh, the brake system on my truck. And let's see if we can put this thing together here. Parts all sort of laid out a little bit. All right, first thing, gonna need a wrench. It's a nine sixteenths. Hey, look at that! Just happened to have it here. You'd think I'd plan that, but actually I didn't. All 
All right, this is the, uh, the emergency brake system right here, and it bolts to this shoe. You've got a star washer and kind of a castellated nut here. Get that started. And that's a special bolt there, so definitely you don't want to lose that thing. It's like shouldered, and I don't know if you can see it here, but it's kind of got some flats on there, so you can grab it with a wrench. So you can tighten it up. Alright. Alright. Get it where you can get it on there at least, right? Alright. The old crescent wrench on here. Pretty snug. All right. Let's see how we get these springs. Alright, so first thing we've got to do, take this spring right here, and that holds the bottom of the shoes together. Hook it onto this one, and then if you kind of swing them, yeah, <laughs> swing them so you don't drop them, right? And we got to put, this is the adjuster, and these are manually adjusted brakes. So every once in a while you got to come and, you know, tighten this thing up, and that's how you set the brakes. And I believe these are left and right handed, so, you know, you don't want to mix them up between different sides of the vehicle. It's a little too much stuff to handle at one time, ain't it? When I did this the first time, it sure seemed like it was a lot easier than this. Alright. Okay. Now we got that. It sits right up here. And before I put this on here, if you can see, there's little pads kind of right here. I believe there's six of them all the way around. You, you're supposed to put, uh, uh, you know, high temperature brake grease on this, you know, because that's a sliding point. And it's good, like on this pin, everywhere that things are moving, you know, the threads of the adjuster, the ends of the pins, all that sort of stuff should have some of that stuff on it. That'll keep things from being worn out. All right. Now this thing here, I forget exactly what they call it, but these springs are a real pain to find. It's the uh, e-brake link spring, return spring is what I believe that's called. And believe me, that was, <laughs> that was a few trips back and forth trying to find anybody that could even find what it was. Uh, I think we ended up having to go to the, the GM dealer to actually find the name of the dang thing. Alright. These here are fairly standard for, you know, your brake systems on, you know, drum brakes. The little pins that hold the shoes onto the backing plate. You find the hole that goes in. It's down here. Through that. And the spring goes on. The fun part is trying to get all this stuff lined up at one time.
There's the tool for putting this stuff on. Yeah. Sometimes that just ain't that easy though. I guess if you do this sort of stuff every day, it probably ain't so bad. I'm not in the right position. I suppose that's my problem here. Oh, look at that. Oh, you get in the right spot, you can put it on by hand, huh? Anyway, that slips on and it's a 90 degree turn. There's a little, you know, detent kind of on it that it locks it in there. Not too bad. All right, let's get the other one on. If you can see, I'll hold it up here. There's a slot that way, but there, there's a little indention. It's the same shape as the, you know, the little upset part on the end of this pin. Like I said, if you're doing this, I'm hoping you probably have done it before. Let's see, where's that thing laying at? All right. Alright, got that one in there. Yep, that's locked in. Now, and these guys right here, which was the source of my problem, slip into there. Push everything the other way. You can just get these guys in there. have to pardon my arm being in the way here. All right. In the slots. That e-brake link sure is tough to get to stay in position. All right, I believe we just about got that on there. Now, these are the springs that pull the shoes and hold it onto that little pivoting pin. I don't know the proper name for that, but that's what it does. One on each side. Make sure these guys here are where they're supposed to be. In there. All right. All right, let me go get my safety glasses. All right. See if we can get these springs on here now. This is, I believe, kind of the proper way to do it. If not, I've got another way. Okay, that's one. Make sure that's seated all the way down there. Perfect. Okay. That's the whole brake system together now. All right, now we're gonna have to put the drum on. The drum has the hubs and all the bearings and everything in it too. 
So this is where the seal is, oil seal. Your inner bearing rides right here and the outer bearing rides here. And this is where all the locking, you know, the retention for that whole drum assembly goes. So the nuts that go out here are very, very important. In fact, that holds the axle in there also. But uh, you'll see that as it goes together here. All right, let's see if we can pick this sucker up. All right. And it just slides right over everything here. Good anyway, what are we catching on? There we go. Alright, that's all the way on. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot a piece. Alright. Well, no hiding the mistakes around here, is there? Let's pull that off, put that back on. That means we got to take these springs back off, don't we? Okay, well, this probably ain't the right way, but this is how I've always done it. That's a little too tight. I knew things were going together too easily. All right. So this little guy goes right here. And then the springs go on top of that. Well, that's not in there, right? What the heck happened there? Spring got a little twisted or something before it went on. go that's how that should be and that one there there we go all right now we got that on we put the put the drum back on huh good okay so this whole retaining retaining hardware we've got a washer here with a little key on it and that sits against the outer bearing I can get it to go in there okay got that then we've got a nut and it's got some uh, little square notches in it and see. There we go use a punch pin that'll Give you a handle to wind it in. You don't want it to be too tight. 
I know you can hear the scuffing probably, but that's just the, uh, the brake shoes slightly touching the inside of the drum. Alright, so it's kind of snugged up there now, just hand, I mean, now we've got this special cage, it's got all these little fingers sticking out of it, it's got that key there, and right here there's another one, so that's got to line up there, and we got to get it to where the notch just goes into it, let's see, I think might actually be too tight already. We'll have to look. Oh. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to pop out of there. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we tighten it up. I think that's going to be way too tight, though. This is going to be too tight, I think. We're going to have to go back. Anyway, just got to line this back up to where it was. A tiny bit the other way still yet. Those two taps are sitting in their respective notches. Now, I've got another one of those nuts that's got the notches in it. That goes on out here. And this clamps that, that locking mechanism in position. So it's just a jam nut. Right there is the one that it was in before. Alright. And then we fold this into that little notch and tap it in. And that'll lock it everything together. Now we can put our axle back in. Make sure all this stuff is clean. You don't want to get no dirt inside your rear end. Okay. And this here, I believe that's in camera now. Yeah. So this is in a, a little aluminum gasket. This is what seals the oil inside of the uh, the bearing assembly here. So it actually. 
know, a conventional, this is the heavy duty system. The lighter duty system, I believe, is just grease like the regular front end would be. Yeah, you gotta fiddle around and find the, where the splines line up. But anyway, so, so you actually run an oil bath with the, uh, the rear end's gear oil. Heavy duty stuff. All right, so that just slides in. And all these bolts go in here and that's it for putting this thing together. Tighten them up good and tight. And we should be good to go on this side. Alrighty, well, I think I'll save you the suffering of watching me tighten down all these bolts, but no, I'm going to tighten all this stuff down the way it should be, put the wheels on, bleed the brakes, and uh, that's it. We'll try to give you a shot of uh, the truck maybe driving away. So uh, if you enjoyed this sort of content, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and uh, you know, by all means share this with people that you think might need to know this sort of stuff. All right, that's it. We'll see you around.